Morning guys and gals. We're back out heading out this morning. Um, it's a little chilly. The I don't know what it was, 34 below when I left this morning. A little bit of breeze. I, I think they had the wind chill down to 42. But the good news is it's supposed to warm up a bit all during the day slowly. So that sun's coming up pretty good now and should warm up good. Yeah, and it's true. My wife didn't want me to go this morning with this cold, but I guess it's one extra good thing about having a 72-hour trap check. You got to go every three days whether your wife wants to or not. <laughs> but I think I'm going to spring my lynx traps again because the uh, holidays, Christmas is coming up and we're having family up and stuff like that and whatnot. So anyways, the... Uh, that way I don't have to go out because I've got half a dozen lynx foot traps out and uh, stuff like that in a wolf set. So I'll just spring all them foot traps and put them back in again after the New Year's. Alrighty? Yeah, and I'm not expecting to catch much. You know, it's been 40 below every night with the wind. 34, 36 below without the wind every night. So. Not going to get a, a lot of movement, but you know, there's got to be a little bit because they can't not move around forever. They got to eat at some point. So, anywho, but for the next week, it's supposed to be up in single digits during the day, so that's going to be awesome. Alrighty. And if uh, we don't catch anything, we'll uh, try and get some footage in, anyways. So, I'm just rock and roll. Guys, we're back in here. I think remember this said this is where the bear was springing my trap all the time, and then after he sprung it, you know, a couple of Martin came by, Fisher went came by, went right in the box. Well, since that time, I you know the bear finally went to sleep, and. Uh, there hasn't been a, a thing back here since. But I gotta check and see if there's some yellow pea right there. Nothing but squirrel tracks around here. A couple of deer there. Yeah, it must just be squirrels peeing in there, saw that before. But anyways. But also back a ways about a mile back at my wolf pee post set. The wolves came there and they actually stepped on the jaw of one trap and then where they half scratched kind of thing after peeing, they scraped the snow off the pan of uh, the second trap. So you notice here I'm gone sleigh list today just to so I can move a little faster you know and plus the fact that if you don't got a sleigh with you that generally means you're, you're gonna end up catching something big because you got no place to put it <laughs> we'll see how that theory works out anyways all right we're about a mile from the cabin now there's been zero action on anything except that wolf set Guys, here's the last trap of the day. 
weasel tracks there, some fox out there. Oh, look over there, there's one, two, three wolves walked up that side of the river there. Right, right there they are. But big giant catch of absolutely nothing today so anywho I'm gonna head back I'm well, I'm not sure I think I'm like 20 miles from the truck or so back at the uh, pretty close to the halfway point which is my cabin and wonderful warm hot coffee I wasn't planning on stopping but my knees are freezing up on me so I thought it would stop and I built a fire when I came by on the way in just so it'd be a little warmer in here and the fire was almost out you see it's uh well, we got minus six fahrenheit outside and it's 28 degrees fahrenheit inside so fire like i said almost got put out so i threw some more wood on there and i'm just gonna Warm up, drink a coffee, have one of my crunchy bars, yum, and then I'll get going. But pretty boring day for you guys to watch this, I guess. Um, it was a pretty boring day, I guess, for me too, as far as catching fur, but. Heck of a skidoo ride. So it's going to be, let's see, from where I checked the speedometer, it's 10.8 miles from there. It's 10, 10 and a half miles from here to the truck. And then I had that one little, like the trail off to the side where the wolf bait is, and that's about two miles I went. So it's going to be about a 45 mile trip today like I said you know I love this snow machine but I'm gonna go out here and show you the one issue that I have with it and I'm gonna fix that when it's really cold and you're not wearing a uh, you can see I'm, I'm not wearing a skidoo suit I got a my fall hunting pants and a pair of long underwear on but you see right here the windshield the wind comes sailing right through here and hits you right in the knees. You can't get away from it. So I think what I'm going to try and do, and I, I know they can't put the windshield down any far because this here has to be able to come off, right? So I'm going to drill a couple holes in here. Maybe have a flap of canvas, canvas or something that hangs down there. That, you know, or even a piece of a plexiglass that'll just deflect the wind out a little bit and then it can be moved out of the way when the uh, when I have to uh, get into the toweling there. But, anywho, lots of little critters been running around on the porch. There's some squirrel tracks there, and there's some other little tracks that kind of stepped all over. Anywho. I'll shut you off and see you on the flip side. <laughs> 